Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today um, I'm going to be doing your divine timing message. But before I get started, I've just been jumping into readings. I have a few announcements. The giveaway is open. Um, if you would like to win a free reading for me, all you have to do is put giveaway, hashtag giveaway in the description, in the comment section and the details will be in the description box. Um, mini readings are open. If you would like a mini reading, the information is in the first comment pinned in the first comment in the comment section um three there was a third there was a third thing hmm. 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 all right i guess we're just going to go into the um <laughs> I guess we're just going to go into the, um, hmm, what you need to know, divine timing message. <laughs> what? Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm stumped. I am absolutely, oh, there it is. I have a, <laughs> my all signs channel. I started, I started, <laughs> I started posting to that again. So some of you have asked like, Hey, is somebody impersonating you or do you, did you change your name or I've been saying, yeah. Cause I never really announced what I posted, but I do have an all signs channel, seven sisters tarot that is like reboot, um, take 257, but we are posting over there and I am doing, um, all signs right now. Um, there are timeless readings, um, so you can also check out your sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Don't you just hate when that happens? Like, what? That, okay. But yeah, Seven Sisters Tarot, you can um, find the link to that in the description box as well to my other channel. And maybe one day I'll start posting to my manifestation channel again, too. I don't know, but for right now, Seven Sisters Tarot is on and popping. Today I'm going to be doing cancer. Um, I'm on cancer. So, okay. So let's go ahead and get started for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What do you need to know at this moment in time? What does Aries need to know right now, Spirit? What does Aries need to know? This card's coming out a lot. The whale, great worry over nothing. Don't we do that a lot? And we have um, a dog barking, advice from a friend. What does Aries need to know? We have the bat. Take care, enemies are working against you. Nothing surprising there. All right, two more cards. Thank you. We have Beware of Greed, the pig, energy, the rose, romance is in the air, and spirit, heart over, heartache over what you no longer have. Um, I heard that's not you. That's not you, Aries. Okay, and I was thinking that when I saw the, the pig, but Aries, you beware of greed too, right? Um, but somebody may be greedy with you. Greedy for you, greedy for your energy. Um, yeah, and look at this heart fell right on top of Rose. Love, deep affection, and caring. Romance is in the air. Cool, one more. Somebody could be having a heartache because you are no longer in their life. We got the angel at the bottom of the deck. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So you are protected. But maybe vamp up your protection because um, of this enemy against you. And they could be hurting over what they no longer have, which could be you. And they could be wanting your energy here with this pig energy here. I, okay. <clears throat> All right. We've seen enough here. Let's see here. Tell us about um, this energy here for Aries. What do they need to know? Tell us about the enemy that is against Aries. Let's start there. The enemy that's against Aries. Who, what, and why? <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Who, what, and why? I keep seeing the three of cups, so. All right, let's see here. What we have this ten of cups keeps wanting to come out, even though it's flimsy. 
who, what, and why for errors about this, that energy. There's the who. I told you the three cups kept coming out. There's the who, the what, and the why. What's the why here? Uh, well, it seems like the who is a group of people, maybe friends, colleagues, uh, family, people that you were connected to. Um, the what? The eight of swords. Somebody could be trying to bind you, block you, confuse you, stop you. Um, and the why? Page of swords. They're seeing something here. They're seeing your knowledge. They're seeing something that you know that you're doing. And I see the star card. Tell me about the hangman energy the knight of pentacles. So they're seeing you grow, but they're trying to slow you down. Tell me about this knight of pentacles and maybe even moving towards something. Maybe something is growing. Maybe someone in your life, the empress is definitely growth from the knight of pentacles to the empress. So, okay. They could be seeing that you're getting attention here. They can see that you're healing. It's also what I'm getting with the hangman. You're healing, okay? But they're definitely watching with the Page of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Empress. You could have made a drastic glow up or change or healing and growth, especially from the Knight of Pentacles to the Empress. And the Eight of Swords here, it's like somebody's confused or trying to confuse you. Mm, they can't take it, okay. What is the news on the way? Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity, a blessing. That came out quick. It is nothing's being stopped here. A new beginning here. Something that is real, something that is tangible. Tell me about this news on the way with the Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Tell me about this news on the way. I keep hearing opportunities. Tell me about this news on the way for Aries. I'm seeing the Ace of Cups now. Tell me about the news on the way for Aries. Four of Cups. Tell me about this. Don't be distracted, Aries, about... Something that you've been waiting for that is going to make you very happy. So they're keeping it very general. I feel like just because it's meant to apply for a lot of people. But there's something here that is tangible. It's something that you've been waiting for. Something that you've been manifesting with the three of wands here. You've been putting your intention in and you're going to receive it with the four of wands here. But with the four of cups, I want to say this, Aries. Don't let any kind of riffraff block your attention. Oh, something is trying to stop something because I keep seeing my computer screen freeze. Um, somebody has the evil eye on you. Don't try to, don't allow this negative energy or these messages of blockages or trying to stop you or anything like that deter you. Don't even put attention on it, I want to say, other than keeping yourself cleansed and, you know, moving forward because it's a distraction. You have a blessing coming in. Look at this Ace of Pentacles and this hand. If you can see that, the hand's coming from the clouds, the hand's coming from the clouds, the hand's coming from the clouds. You have a lot of blessings that are coming from the divine and blessings coming from the divine cannot be stopped. They cannot. They cannot be stopped. Um, you know what I'm saying? The three of wands here and the four of wands, some of you are getting an approval for a home. Um, some of you are about to be in a relationship because you have the four of wands here. This relationship's coming in because you're healing here with the empress. You're putting yourself, yourself first and people don't like that. People don't like when you heal and you used to be somebody's doormat and you were able to be walked all over and stumped on and you were able to be somebody's punching bag. They don't want to see you heal and elevate and level up. Okay. So somebody could be trying to stop that. So let me tell Tell me about the romances in the air for Aries and the heart, loving, caring, compassionate energy. Tell me about the romances in the air for Aries. Tell me about, tell me one more. You're not going to be single anymore. Nine of Pentacles came out right in reverse. There's someone who's trying to cause confusion or blockages within your love life, but they'll be defeated here with the five of wands in reverse and the seven of cups. I feel like you'll have a few options before you find the one, but the first card that came in is the chariot. So continue to move forward. And because we had the chariot that came out first, then the five of wands in reverse, you're going to be able to get through the shit and the seven of cups. I say shit like literally because it is, that is what it is. You know what I'm saying? 
the five of wands here, I feel like if you continue to move forward and just kind of like trample over this, it will take care of itself, especially with the five of wands in reverse and the seven of cups here. Then you have the emperor. Okay. I feel like you will be able to overcome this. You may be connecting to another Aries or a cancer. And the high priestess here, whatever was in secret done in the dark is going to come to light with the magician underneath. Tell us more here about the heart and the love energy here for Aries. Tell me more. Three of Swords in reverse. It could be somebody who broke your heart from the past who is trying to do this conflict, who is trying to, somebody that you got over, over in the past is trying to hold on to you or hold you back because Three of Swords came in reverse. So be careful with that. Tell me what's coming in for love for Aries. We'll pull one more. The fool. It is definitely either an Aries, another Aries here, or a leap of faith here. That you, look at that King of Wands, a fire sign. It's a new, 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 new beginning here. Ten of Swords and the Judgment. Ooh, the dogs are doing something downstairs. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Aries, in between this love energy, we may have to do a spinoff to this reading. In between this love energy, there is somebody, I'm going to just be really real with you so you know, you know if this is for you or if it's not for you. There is somebody here with the judgment and the ten of swords who's going to be coming back. And the fool, I feel like it kind of came crossing. It could have been in reverse. Somebody coming back and the three of swords definitely came in reverse that hurt you, somebody that it was a betrayal you got over, um, this, in the, 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 I can't talk, the five of wands in reverse is like competition, like somebody trying to, to start drama and conflict in between you and confusion. This is what this whole reading is about. Even here, even if it's a friend or a people, or this is multiple people who are trying to stop you from obtaining love and blessings. So I don't know what that's about, but it's whoever is doing it. It's like really does not want you Look at the queen of swords, the king of swords here. They don't want you to have happiness. They don't want you to have love. They don't want you to have a new beginning. They don't. And that's really sad. Like that is the, the gist of this reading is that there is somebody who is hurt or heartbroken or upset that you're moving on and you're healing and you're receiving something. And, um, but this, I mean, this has come out before, but this energy here is like really like, like somebody really, really trying to stop it. And I think that's why the message is here to ignore, ignore something, you know, ignore it. Don't even feed into the low vibrational energy because you can get sucked into that. Don't feed into the low. If somebody tries to, to send things to you and to distract you or just do dumb stuff to try to distract you and even talking about you behind your back let let whatever is behind your back i want to say stay behind your back let it stay behind your back look and i just pulled these two out the three of pentacles and the ace of cups so there could be people working together okay so that's what i have for you take care